By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to identify which SAC application would be best for an intended purpose and know the difference between each SAC application and its related workflow. There are many different applications in SAP Analytics Cloud. Some applications can seem similar at first, but each has their own specific process and features. While this might seem overwhelming, it's easier if we talk about the applications in more generalized groupings to start. Data management. Arguably, the most important actions you'll perform in SAC are around managing your data. This includes importing and connecting to your data, as well as shaping and transforming it into a source structured for your needs. Once your data is ready, you'll be able to use that data everywhere else in SAC. The first application we're going to discover is datasets. Datasets store data in a single table. Datasets are perfect for ad hoc analysis scenarios. If you're looking to quickly upload data using a CSV or Excel file and analyze it in a story straight away, datasets are the way to go. The second application for managing data in SAC is the Modeler app. Models are the backbone of SAP Analytics Cloud. This app helps you create data models, define relationships, transform, calculate data, and create hierarchies, making it easier to extract insights. Models are meant to be built as established truths of your data and can be shared among different teams or groups within your SAC tenant. Visualizing data. Once you've imported your data into a data set or created your data model, you can now start to discover insights of your data and visualize information with charts and tables. Depending on the complexity of your analysis and who it is ultimately designed for, there are a number of options available to you. The first option is stories. Stories are the heart of SAP Analytics Cloud. They are often referred to as reports or dashboards, but regardless of what you call them, they allow you to craft engaging data-driven narratives. Within stories, you can include charts, tables, and text to convey insights to your audience, as well as allow the viewer to engage with the data using interactive features like sorting, filtering, and drilling down or up to different levels of data. The next app in the visualizing data group is the analytic applications. Analytic applications are like stories in the way they present information to users, but provide designers with much more flexibility in terms of specialized widgets and scripting capabilities. Analytic applications allow developers to extend stories with scripting, custom widgets, and other developer capabilities, including creating customized user interactions. Although stories and analytic applications are still clickable as separate applications, they are beginning to merge into one unified application. You might even notice that creating a new analytic application will open up the Stories app in the optimized design mode. We will cover stories and the optimized design mode in greater detail in another lesson. And then finally, we have the Data Analyzer. The Data Analyzer tool is all about ad hoc data exploration. It empowers users to analyze data in real time. The Data Analyzer displays your models and sources in a pivot table to filter and analyze your data quickly and effectively. So if you want to dive into your data in a spreadsheet type format, save clicks by using the Data Analyzer instead of adding a basic table to a story. Managing and visualizing your data is important. But that's not where SAC's capabilities stop. You also have apps in SAC for planning and automation. This includes automating common planning tasks, leveraging machine learning to forecast future trends and outcomes, distributing values across different dimensions, and automating and simplifying your workflows in SAC. Let's start off with data actions. Think of data actions as your automation buddies, allowing you to streamline repetitive tasks. Imagine speeding up structured changes to a planning model in SAC through the Data Actions application, like copying data from one model to another, saving you time on repetitive tasks. With Data Actions, you can also see to forecast from a prior year's budget and apply various rates depending on different criteria. Sounds complicated, right? But with Data Actions, this can be designed once and implemented every planning cycle with the click of a button. Allocations. Allocations help you distribute costs or values across different dimensions with precision and accuracy. Imagine a planning scenario where you need to distribute or assign values from a source data set to different target data sets. This is what allocations is designed to do. Predictive scenarios. Leveraging machine learning, they forecast future trends and outcomes, enabling you to make data-driven predictions and plan accordingly. Imagine having the ability to generate accurate forecasts on top of your actuals, 
This level of insight is invaluable to organizations and a breeze with SEC's predictive scenarios application. Multi-actions is a game changer. It allows you to string together a number of different data actions or allocations that you've already built, automating complex processes and saving valuable time. Imagine using an AI-built predictive model, applying your logic rules, and using that as the foundation of your plan instead of just using last year's budget or this year's actuals. To round out, we have task management and presentation applications. These applications help you to stay on top of and manage tasks and assignments and be able to present focused information and visualizations to key stakeholders and board members. The digital boardroom. This one's designed for executive level reporting and decision making. It provides a visually engaging environment for presenting KPIs, trends, and insights to your board members. Using the digital boardroom also gives your presenters and participants the ability to view and interact with stories in real time during the presentation. And finally, the Calendar app helps with tracking events, deadlines, and other time-based data points. With the Calendar application, you can create tasks, assign them to users, set due dates, and monitor the progress. You can also use the Calendar to schedule your multi-actions, data actions, and data locking to run automatically. As you can see, SAP Analytics Cloud offers a comprehensive suite of applications and tools for data analysis and decision making. In this lesson, we learned which SAC application would be best for any intended purpose in SAC. And we also now know the difference between each SAC application and its related workflow.